this is the rental car. It's kind of like a Mini Cooper. I opted for automatic, even though I have a six speed at home, just because driving in new places, like new places, less stress, automatic. My allergies since I got in this rental car are like going on the fritz. But I just spent the last few minutes going through this handbook thing. And it's really cool that they do that because I didn't have anything like that in Finland. And it goes over like basic rules, traffic signs that aren't, you know, that are local to here that we don't normally see. One thing about here, you have to have your headlights on at all times, not even on auto. They have to be fully on on roundabouts like the inner person has the right away so the outer one has to yield to them what's another one i don't remember there was some other good ones it's me interesting driving in a new country again i can't check into my airbnb until 3 p.m and it is like 9 42 so i don't know what i'm gonna do i don't play until like one or two tomorrow i'm gonna get some practice in eventually there's like 76 courses around iceland so i may do that course i may just walk it i may do another course i don't know we'll see we'll see what happens Right, so I decided to actually drive about two and a half hours to, I'm gonna butcher this, Rainisfarna, Rainisfara Beach? I don't know, whatever, I'll put it here. And I am starving. My head is killing me because I haven't had caffeine in so long, probably a little dehydrated, but I wasn't gonna buy water because I read you can drink tap water all over Iceland. I just haven't found a place to get tap water yet. So, got a Coke Zero, because I have to get a Coke Zero everywhere I go. I'm sure it tastes the same. I don't know what uh, that, like, I don't know. It's weird, it's gonna stab me. Tastes like Coke Zero. I also got sour cream flavored Doritos. I love Doritos. Yeah, they're pretty much Cool Ranch. A very subtle Cool Ranch. I also got this pepperoni taco sandwich. Not something I would normally buy. Like I said, I'm starving. They did like, it was a restaurant, so they do make food in there, but nothing looked phenomenal. And I wanna just get back on the road. Gives me a long drive. Normally I wouldn't buy, I mean, I would try chips and I would get a Coke Zero. But I wouldn't buy this sandwich, anything like this, in the gas station. Unless it's like 7-Eleven in Thailand, which I could live off of. But, it's pricey here. So this was $14 for the sandwich, chips, and a drink. But like I said, I'm starving. I needed food. I wasn't feeling well. Headache, all that. She said this is the most popular. <laughs> okay, that was weird. So it's got like pepperoni, ham, cheese, and then this like sauce. And the sauce is like taco seasoning flavor. It's different, it's not bad. All right, I'll see y'all the next step. It's a disc golf course. I 
quickly learned that if you're in Iceland driving and you see quite a few cars parked along the side of the road, you should probably stop. And this stop did not disappoint. I was so excited to meet these sweet little Icelandic horses. I think the best part was that I did absolutely no research before doing this drive, so I had no idea what all there was to see. By this point, I was super tired, so after seeing the main waterfall, I almost went back to the car, but I still saw people roaming around, so I was like, let me go check it out, and I am so glad I did. This next part might actually be my favorite moment of the entire trip. Pro tip number one, don't be afraid to ask people to take pictures of you. And pro tip number two, actually just get them to record videos of you and then you can go back and screenshot later. I screenshotted this section and turned it into a picture, but I also had a cool video for the vlog. I'm soaked and freezing. But this Columbia jacket I got on Amazon and sell like two years ago and never wore until now is the best because I, I mean, I'm soaked outside, but my shirt's completely dry. I randomly saw this on the side of the road. When I got there, there was only one other car, but something made me whip in there and check it out. And I'm so glad I did. where all the small stops I've made, nobody was at until after I was leaving. I have been hitting all these places at like perfect timing. So as exhausted as I am, because I have like not slept really in 24 hours, um, I can't just not hike this, right? Apparently the trail keeps going. I'm not. I'm out of shape. I'm going.
After several more hours than planned, I finally made it to the black sand beach. Of course, like everything else in Iceland, it did not disappoint. And let me tell you, these sneaker waves are no joke. This is as close as I would get to the waves because they would look really far out and then all of a sudden they would literally sneak up on you. And as you can see in this next video, we did actually have one get us. This guy was making me super nervous. He was so far out there and the way these waves come up, I was like, he's a corner. <laughs> These ladies were cracking up and having a blast, so clearly not bothered, but it's definitely a little sketchy, so be careful if you go. But how phenomenal are these rocks? It's just incredible. I was just constantly in awe the entire time. And here I paid like a dollar something to use a public restroom because you have to pay to use public restrooms a lot of places in Europe. Okay, so I'm trying to go see this glacier and I followed what I thought were the signs to it and it said 25 minutes to go like four miles. I'm like, mm, it's kind of weird. And so I was like, ah, I'm going down this road, which I feel like is not made for two wheel drive, but we're doing it. And I'm like the only car. Like the only car I've seen. This can't be right, but Apple Maps says it's right. But then I download Google Maps and it doesn't say right. So I don't know what I'm doing. I'm scared. I don't know if I want to like keep trucking three more miles and just like see where this road takes me. Cause I'm already like halfway or if I want to turn around cause it's kind of sketch. <laughs> so I thought it was kind of a red flag when on Google it said that the glacier was busier than normal and I hadn't passed a car in three miles but you know I've, I've been getting lucky today and nobody's been showing up till after I show up so I thought maybe that was the case but apparently not I'm just wrong and this sucks even worse going back I think <sighs> definitely spent like an hour going down a road that I was not supposed to be on. <laughs> I'm an idiot, but I can't read Icelandic. And those signs look like every other signs I've seen today. So anyways, that was an adventure. Glad I didn't die. Cool. Apple Maps did me dirty by telling me to go that way, but I think it's a new road. So like they're not done with it. <laughs> anyways, I passed up the plane wreck thing earlier. It's like a two mile walk I'm pretty sure each way I don't know if I want to do that because ugh, I'm freaking exhausted all right I'm walking out to the DC3 I wasn't sure if I was going to but naturally I had to I am a little over a mile there and since I went on that obnoxious unnecessary adventure I got here later than I guess everybody else because everybody else is going the other direction than me but I still see some people out there so I mean It'll be less crowded, which would be nice. But yeah, a little sketch. Just making questionable decisions today. It's fine. It's fun. I'm, I'm gonna be gonna be hurting tomorrow. It's fine. I really wish I had a lucky acer or mint desk sticker with me. 
I don't know if I just got lucky or arriving around 7 p.m. is the way to go every time because there's no longer shuttles going back and forth so you actually have to walk it but I was one of only like two people here and I definitely recommend coming later in the evening. And it doesn't really get dark in Iceland this time of year so it's not like you're going to risk running out of sunlight. it's been here for so long so many people come here and it's still like not completely falling apart all right i'm officially the only one here so let's get out of here go to space no because being out here basically alone there are a few more people coming this way it's kind of creepy and i don't want to be stranded in outer space like some interstellar stuff i'm not as brave as i try to convince myself that i am it's been 84 years since i started this hike and i still have no ways to go I'm not gonna get a practice run in. Um, oops. Didn't think that my little trek to the black beach was gonna have all these stops. Sleeping awake, I don't know how many hours, besides the like maybe two hour uncomfortable power nap I took on the plane. Still have like another two, two and a half hours back to Rickvik. You know, you're ready to be done when you already have the keys in your hand and you're still this far away. Oh look, there's the glacier. I was trying to get to that I could have got to in like five minutes instead of an hour and didn't even get to see. Pretty sick. I could go back, but I'm hungry and tired. I saw something on the thing about an airport. No, it's just some cones with a windsock. It's like a self-filled landing zone. Pretty funny. I didn't notice that earlier. So finally, after the most amazing and unexpected day full of adventures, I was finally headed back towards the Airbnb. Because it was so late, I ended up just going to the gas station where I finally got some water, got some instant noodles that I would eat for breakfast the next morning, and an iconic Icelandic hot dog. Even in the gas station, they are supposed to be good, and this one did not disappoint. It had regular onions, my favorite, the crispy little fried onions. They do a bacon wrapped sausage. I think they're usually lamb and then all the sauces. And I love sauce, so this made me happy. <laughs> okay, I usually don't like hot dogs, but they weren't lying when they said Icelandic hot dogs were good. Either I'm starving, I am, or this is really good, but I think it's really good. <laughs> Finally made it back to this amazing Airbnb that I will show you all in the next video. So make sure y'all come back next week to check out the Airbnb, Icelandic disc golf, and of course, more food.